Hi, it's Bill Weemuth from HistoryHighlights.com. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful August the 2nd for a little history highlight. Today we go to the Library of Congress website to learn a little bit about James Baldwin. Novelist, essayist, and playwright James Baldwin was born on August the 2nd of 1924 in New York City. The eldest of nine children, Baldwin grew up in poverty-stricken Harlem, where his stepfather was a preacher. Between the ages of 14 and 18, Baldwin himself preached at a small revivalist church, the Fireside Pentecostal. His first and most critically acclaimed novel, Go Tell It on the Mountain, 1953, was inspired by his experiences there. Baldwin once wrote, The conundrum of color is the inheritance of every American. Baldwin was heavily influenced by his Harlem Middle School French teacher, famed poet, County Cullen. Cullen, who obtained his master's degree from Harvard University, was a leader of the Harlem Renaissance, also known as the New Negro Movement, a flourishing of artistic expression that emerged from the community of Harlem in New York City in the 1920s. Cullen devoted himself to the education of children in the last period of his life and concentrated on teaching and writing children's books. He opened up a new world of literary and artistic possibilities for black youth in Harlem, including James Baldwin. Harlem's millionaires, Alelia Walker, whose mother made her fortune with kink no more preparations, about this time became imbued with the desire to aid struggling artists. She set aside a floor of her townhouse at 208 West 136th Street to be used as a studio for art exhibits, poetry recitals, and musicals. County Cullen suggested Dark Tower as the name for this shrine of Harlem art, and both he and Langston Hughes had poems inscribed on the walls. Baldwin moved to Paris in 1948, where he spent the majority of the next eight years. During this time, he created some of his most famous work, including the essay collection Notes of a Native Son, 1955, and the novel Giovanni's Room, 1956, where he explores the broad issues of race, sexuality, and identity. Baldwin's work Nobody Knows My Name, 1961, deals more explicitly with the subject of race relations in the United States. An active participant in the civil rights movement in the 1950s, in his later years, Baldwin lived in both the United States and France, where he died in 1987. A little bit of history and information on this August 2nd about Mr. Baldwin. I hope you will get out and study and read and expand your horizons and continue to learn and explore. I hope you have a great day as well, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. All the best.